Kyle Dubas, man. I love the sound of this contract. I know that myself, me, a lot of other people as well, we've been kind of talking about the Maple Leafs during this year's free agency period as being sort of on the losing end when it comes to all the activity that's going on. They didn't really add any significantly huge pieces aside from Matt Murray, maybe, and even then, he's kind of a stretch in that respect. But this trade, or not trade, this acquisition right here, this signing from earlier today, is one that I like very, very much. Now, sure, it's not Johnny Gaudreau to Columbus. It's not Jack Campbell to Edmonton. It's not a huge, significant piece, but what this is, is an opportunity. By the way, Jordan Conrad, thank you for your subscription happening right live as we record the video over here. It's Callie Yarncrow, who has agreed to a four-year deal with the Maple Leafs at $2.1 million AAV. His deal also includes a limited no-trade clause, so I assume that will be somewhat of a something team, no trade list, something like that, but either way, Callie Arncrow is a player heading over to Toronto that I think many Maple Leafs fans are going to really fall in love with over the next few months. He's 30 years old, 5'11", 185, has a right-handed shot, and, as we said, he's signed to a $2.1 million AV salary for the next four years. Sure, He'll be 34 by the time this contract expires. He is born September 25th, 1991. But this player right here is a versatile, highly skilled, or not really highly skilled, highly work ethic kind of player. That's a very poorly constructed sentence, so that's my bad. But as you can see with the numbers in previous years, he had been hovering in that 20, 30, maybe a little bit more-ish kind of range in terms of points. And this previous season, he had himself 30 points in, what is that, 68 games played total? Which is definitely not bad. He's on pace for half a point a game pr pretty much over the full season. And it becomes a lot better when you acknowledge that, hey, Cali Yarncrow actually didn't really do all too well offensively with the Calgary Flames. Most of his production came with the Seattle Kraken. However, though, even though his offensive production was not all too great in Calgary, you still saw a lot of value out of the way he plays. He has a good work ethic, he plays well defensively, he's versatile, he can play in the corners, on the boards, penalty kill as well. Kelly Yarncrow is a really versatile player that can have a good offensive touch once in a while. It's why the Nashville Predators valued him at such a high amount, to the point where the Seattle Kraken took him in the expansion draft. What this means... And this is why I'm saying this is a really good move, not because Callie Yarncrow is a superstar, but what this means is the Toronto Maple Leafs will likely go out there and trade away Alex Kerfoot, because if you take a look at the salary cap numbers for everybody on this team, Callie Yarncrow is likely going to be the team's third-line center, which makes the team's current third-line center, Alexander Kerfoot, at $3.5 million a season, a lot more expendable. Kerfoot is also a very movable contract, and the reason I say that is because his base salary for this year is actually $750,000, but he has a $3.5 million AAV. He's got $1.9 million in salary bonuses, which should have already been paid to him by now, so this player, Alex Kerfoot, is going to be traded to a team that likely won't need to pay him all too much, however, they will just have a cap hit that is pretty beefy in itself, because $3.5 million isn't necessarily cheap. Also, Kerfoot himself is a pretty good point producer. He had 51 points in 82 games last year, definitely a pretty good amount of production for the cap hit that he has. And so, this is a pretty lateral move when it comes to how the Maple Leafs are going to perform on the ice. I definitely do think that Cali Yarncrow and Kerfoot are comparable players when it comes to the play style, projectability, etc. But, because this kind of acquisition of Cali Yarncrow allows the Maple Leafs to move Kerfoot with a lot less qualms, I think this is a pretty good contract. Kyle Dubas... I see you, buddy. You're big branding it again, and I like it. Talk to me in the comments about your thoughts about this acquisition. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.